welcome back ladies and gentlemen to gaming in the max and part four of our hearts of iron four old world blues enclave redux mod so in the last episode we had conquered quite a bit we had conquered the den we had conquered the nevada free states and mordok we knocked out vault city um we had started and finished our new reno uh initiative and have now finished home in nevada so this part of our focus tree is now done um we started doing a little bit of, on the infiltrate of the NCR and the expansion for the mutant question. And now, uh, right now, I'm going to focus on two things. I'm going to focus on the Army Depot. Well, three things, I'm sorry. Infiltrate the NCR, the Army Depot, and then the Department of Defense. Uh, trying to get at least some of this researched because, I mean, there's a lot that we have to figure out. And hopefully we can get some type of something I don't know there's just a lot to this so which is fun I'm like, super excited to start getting into it but for, yeah first off we're gonna go to uh, let's see better far below which is 20 days on our Sierra Army Depot. I'll probably do one there and then jump over and do one there and jump over. Uh, so our diamond in the rough, what lies below, or what lies above in and more importantly below here in Nevada. Cyber War Band declared war on the Scrappers Compact. So hijack the big circle. Consider more popular trade route in Northern California. We can easily tap into this route and reap rewards. Secure Area 51. Where's that at? Oh, right over here with the Sky Reavers. Silver State. Uh, Nevada's ancient mining in, uh, industry can be reborn to us before in our, our economy. Our silvers in them hills. The USGS Reno Water Science Center. To the Commonwealth Center, there appears a ruined government research to the Enclave. It's an opportunity to drink. Uh, a minor pre war arms manufacturers. But its equipment remains intact. Oh wow, production of a hundred electricity. Uh, let's just start with the top one. Work our way down. So hijack the big circle. Hopefully we can do more than one. We can uh, cause a diplomatic incident with the she. I'm not gonna do that. Enclave here. Let's see if you walking tanks make sure training time a little bit longer but that's fine let's start getting uh, uh, I don't know maybe scrap trucks Can't change out of hidden economy. Port Ma don't hate me. Kaiser's Legion declared war on New Vegas. Goodbye. The Chemtrake Control of New Reno and Vault City has given the Enclave control over the West pharmaceutical industry. Some suggest the Enclave revive old ties with criminal syndicates and seize the waste chem trade. Others suggest we legalize the chem trade in our territory and take a cut. Some reformers claim we do better to turn out mentates and antibiotics instead of jet and trade for rare goods, but they're probably huffing uh, Brahmin stuff. Seize the chem trade, which gives chems legalized. We legalize jet is just a uh, swinging issue for today's youth. Lose some stability. Oh, let's heal the nation's wound. We add... Oh, that one's pretty good. Legitimacy, both production. I mean, yeah, this is arms workshops and stuff, but those advanced can. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. The only reason those are so important is because our so production. These takes a bunch of those advanced components, and they're kind of rare, so it's very important we have a lot of that. Um, got a lot of the basic caravan equipment. Some mongrels, dog being built. I'm trying to think what else. 
build some of those. There's so much stuff that we have to build. Uh, I don't need the transports. We'll worry about some stuff like that later. I need a lot more guns though. Alright, keep going. Let's see. Better for below is about done. The air equities. Uh, in recent development, NCR scouts have noted seeing aircraft flying over the skies of Legion. The development is speculated to have been the creation of the Aqualon Palatine, the secret scientific body behind the Legion's most recent development. It appears to have been a joint venture between the Shadow Organization and the Speed Cult in Tucson, creating troubling developments for what is generally considered a looted organization. NCR intelligence believes that the Legion may have cannibalized various fighters left over at the pre-war Air Force base that Tucson had been using for spare parts to assemble its Air Force in record time. Regardless, the NCR Air Force officials, however, remain optimistic, pointing out that the NCR's training, skill, and flexibility will win the day over anything the Legion can throw at them. Oh, come on. I thought we, I thought he was all about going backwards technologically. Oh, come on. Uh, better far below. Evacuation or excavation below has begun, and to our surprise, we found a pre-war survivor. Private First Class. Audi Dobbs of the U.S. Army. He's been locked in stasis for a better part of 200 years. Our scientists carefully initiated revival procedures to ensure he did not su suffer from Perot's chronic syndrome and return into a puddle of slime. Huh. After a few minutes of disorientation, he recovered fully, though is somewhat distraught at the in intervening 200 years. However, he's eager to return for service, being a loyal American soldier. Being a purebred genetic human, we cannot deny that request. Our engineers, thought, or our engineers though, are ready to begin excavation though they only have the manpower for one project currently uh, excavate and expand or knowledge is the greatest treasure mm. knowledge is nice so maybe just knowledge. oh so we immediately got that one and we'll do this one our military codes give us access to the parts of the depot that are almost entirely untouched. Let it let us open the old armory and maintenance storage. So, uh, salvage what we can, which gains us more. Yes, this is awesome. I know I said I was jumping back and forth, but man, this is awesome. Uh, the big circle, the lifeblood of North California. The big circle now runs between three of our cities. While back in 2042, it was quite dangerous. A lot has changed in 30 years. First and foremost, our glorious return. Regardless of the caravan routes of Big Circle bring in more than just profits, we can have our troops patrol the caravan routes, ensuring growth of the routes up north and the migration that will follow as others move north to take a chunk of the profits. However, such an action will earn the ire of the NCR. We can just impose a heavy tax on the road through New Reno, Vault City, or the Den, discouraging growth and increasing profits, keeping the eyes of the bear torns, uh, eyes of the bear turned towards Kaisar. The Wasteland economy is an American economy, which gives us army experience, gate, and ter trade tariffs. Or the big circle freedom, uh, freeing slaves and making money, monthly population, and trade tariffs. So we get a little bit more army experience and more trade tariffs or more monthly population. We'll do some more monthly population. We're making quite a bit of money right now, I think. About 57, yeah. Which I do want to see trade routes. We can do to New Canaan, and we can do to Arroyo. For Vault City, and then we can come over here to New Reno. Oh, available routes, yeah, two. Do one to San Francisco, one to Vault City. And then I guess the den had one too, which I didn't realize. O'Brien. Where's that at? Oh, right there. Okay. Good enough for me right now. Do excavate in lower levels. Find attackers, and let's see. We're still saving up. This is going to cost us a lot. Uh, we can do U.S. ordnance. These are like really good as well. 
This this mod, I'm so glad you guys showed me this mod because I probably wouldn't have played it just playing like, just playing around. But man, this mod is super fun. Uh, New Vegas' downfall for the first time in living memory. The casinos in the New Vegas Strip failed to open for business this morning, largely thanks to their annihilation and the fierce fighting against Kaiser's Legion. For days, fighting on the Strip raged and secured trons and mobs loyal, or, yeah, mobs loyal to the great families of the casinos attempted desperately to prevent their precious city from falling to hostile powers. Ultimately, the Strip was lost, but even when the families of the Strip continued to stubbornly defend their casinos, following a direct order from Kaiser, the casinos were demolished with the last mobsters inside them, much to the dismay of the soldiers keen on looting the riches. The Securitrons, meanwhile, withdrew in the direction of the Mojave weather monitoring, uh, monitoring system, although attempts to find them have so far been unsuccessful. Vegas survived the Great War, but not Kaiser's Legion. Okay. Their new Vegas is annexed. Pretty much not good news for anybody right now. Kaiser's Legion is like incredibly strong. I mean, we're looking at about 200 divisions or 167 at the most. It's 100,000 manpower. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, U.S. ordnance within the ruins of New Reno lay an old factory guarded by high-end robots, turrets, and practically picked clean by scavengers and New Reno gangs. However, inside lay the factory workings of U.S. ordnance. A pre-war weapons manufacturer, while it never grew as large as the likes of Stent Security or West Tech, it was a modest company that focused in the Nevada area. Post-war saw the factory locked down, only to open to the authorities. And that authority happens to be the U.S. government. Inside, we found the factory to be relatively intact. Some of the few simple repairs can be returned to fully working order, producing weapons and material for our growing army. Focused on basic infantry weapon or the support weapons? Nope, basic infantry weapons. Uh... Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's not bad. wasn't wasn't as good as the other one before that, but that was not a bad one either. Uh, let's do. Time for us to reclaim the air base. The problem is, uh, Area Fifty One's down here. We can do the Silver State. Now we'll just keep working straight down. Yeah, all right. We'll excavate the lower levels, getting some more power armor, some more laser rifles. Even if our power armor comes out with uh, some of the less advanced power armor, that'll be fine. I do want to add uh, a few more divisions there. And let's do. Old world radio, which would be nice. Crack the code. Let's do the Department of Defense real quick. Start on that. Enclave here. The turquoise solar project. Um, not far outside of New Reno lay ruins are now formerly of the turquoise solar energy project. Much uh, like much of New Reno, it spread destruction from the Great War. However, 200 years of lack of upkeep and maintenance have let it fall into disarray. The gangs of New Reno never ventured to restart the project, lest they be targeted by rivals. Now that law and order has been restored, the Enclave has managed to get the project running at near full capacity again. While it's no Helios 1, the project is more than capable of powering New Reno and nearby settlements for the time being. Finally, I can power my toaster. Or good, now we can stop using generators. 3% uh, stability, 5% legitimacy, and adds 10 production of energy in New Reno. That's fine. Better than the... In my opinion, the 10 was better than the 24 there. Our legitimacy is at 76%, which has given us a huge boost. ship designer maybe the vertebrae design team oh, we gotta gotta wait for this see how much this is gonna cost I will do the water center there's the Department of Defense once just a series of pins on uniforms with uh, 
the with the president's order, the Department of Defense has been restored. The officers slowly diverging from sub-departments under the Army to full branches full uh, worthy of their heritage. While the Army will still take center stage beyond the reclamation of America is primarily a land war, the other branches have laid out what is needed to reform the military and the pre-war fighting force that uh, knew no equal. Many within the government, however, have pointed out that focusing on the military would distract from much needed reform and development projects on the civilian side of the House. To it, Avili, uh, alleviate these fears, the President has spoken that the Department of Defense will take a back seat and that the civilian restoration projects are still the primary concern of the government, pointing out the technological might of the Army and its rapid and growing numbers. This means do not focus on the DoD all at once. <laughs> uh, 100 Army experience, Navy experience, and Air experience. The, we, will, we will reform as we go. I think that's funny, personally. But uh, I just start focusing only on the DoD. Um, don't tell me what to do. Uh, no, uh, I won't. I'm coming back down here to strike the surface. How much is this going to cost? Okay. I hope the cost isn't actually as much as I think it's going to be, but... I don't have any ability to go to war yet. Let's see, six, five more days. I'd say you all are much more worried about uh, Kaiser's Legion right now than me. Because I am also worried about Kaiser's Legion. The USGS Water Science Center, basically an abandoned government research office that saw funding slash as a great war continue. It's our great luck that the USGS office in the arena was left alone by scavengers and wastelanders since no one uh, no one exactly found water at this location. Instead, the real prize are the data sensors and research logs that pinpoint the aquifers that were replenished over the last couple of centuries. Thanks to the low fallout in this area, they are likely to not be as tainted as some, uh, as some of other areas. Let the water flow. Create more water for my bubble. <laughs> no. Uh, gain 5% legitimacy, 3% stability, and adds 10 to production of water in New Reno. Do naval doctrine. Capital ships, green ships. So you disperse the river fleet. Probably the river fleet. Then air. Defensive engagements, elaborate disruption. All right, so we have schematics to factories and pilots here and now. Maintaining our air fleet will be difficult. There's no issue we can simply crush our enemy before the cracks start showing. Even the most scraped together planes represent a considerable investment in required rare materials and recovering pre-war knowledge. Jerry rigging a nuclear engine, after all, is no mean feat. And fire rains from above, but will never match the enemy in the sky one to one. So I try. There are many other methods to even the odds to contest the fly of uh, the sky. Uh, I think these make them better. We'll go with this one, I think. Pragmatic. And then we can do self -absorption. There we go. Perfect. Three hundred and thirty. I'm glad I didn't spend much more uh, political power, which I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to gain three hundred and thirty political power in the time I need to. But we'll see. I mean, uh, for the next time. Might just have to start building our army up and praying to God that we have something strong enough of a force to hold them off. Let's see. Click on this one. We'll open it. There we go. Coach Guns is researched. All right. Strike the surface. Our engineers have set to work on the surface, cleaning out much of the rubble, debris, and bodies. Well, we can't confirm. Who these bodies were, we can determine the oldest ones and bury them with full military honors. Uh, any others we will put in Galaga, Ga, Galgatha. Galgatha. However, the engineers only have enough manpower to work on one project, either the airstrip or the robot defenses. Rule the skies. Get these automated defenses up now. Uh, let's 
Let's do the robot defenses. Right, Pre-programming. Right, so that we can rebuild the airstrip. So can't do that one yet. Can't do that one yet. Let's actually do uh, the old world radio. Or maybe Operation Babylon. The old world uprising. This is, oh, oh, I might do Enclave that. here. Start doing this. Now we got robots. The sand defenses. Some protectrons. Uh, they will go under their own army. I like having different units into their own armies. Because I can then focus somebody and be like, oh, you're going to be the guy in charge of my robots you're gonna be the guy in charge of my right here Chris Hamilton regular he's a robots expert enclave here. congratulations mr. Hamilton you're now in charge of the enclave rest uh, the old United States uh, robots move that over real quick Get logistics companies move it back over this way move it back over this way Give better anti-tank rifles. All right, now move this to the center. The League of Citizens, Lynette, gave the speech to the audience of hardline seg segregationists as if on autopilot going on and about the importance of segregating the radiation damage from the pure humans. She believed none of it, but she had little choice to comply. The traditionalist in Vault City always longed for a return of the days of Lynette Mother, where the superior breed of humanity ruled over their lessers. However, their influence has greatly diminished, diminished in recent history thanks to the NCR's influence. With the fall of Vault City, the NCR garrison was destroyed, and a few survivors ended up in Golgotha. Golgotha to prevent spreading news of the Enclave's return. Now free from the NCR's gaze and the ranks bolstered by the more genetically aware reformers, the traditionalists have reasserted themselves in Vault City politics. They have formed a new political party, the League of Citizens, which is quickly becoming the dominant political force in Vault City. The League aims to restore Vault City back to her, form, her, back to her glory days before the NCR's uh, degenerate democracy infected the city. Before those followers, anarchists spread their foolish notion of equality, back when everybody knew their place, when only the best specimens of humanity could lead. Some of the more radical League members believed Vault City models should be spread all across America, and after all, didn't the Vault City model lead to the most advanced city in the wasteland? Lynette wrapped up her speech, and the audience gave an applause. Now a powerless figurehead of a hardline seg segregationist mo movement, she had no choice but to follow the party lines. As she left the stage, she made a silent apologies to humans, ghouls, and mutants she had betrayed. Meanwhile, in New Reno, Granite listened to the recording. Never did it occur to him that Wastelanders outside the Enclave would have their own hardline views of human Wastelanders, ghouls, and mutants. He'd have to cho uh, choose his options wisely. Two steps forward, one step back. Um, the, the Elite's party will now be called the League of Citizens. First citizen, Lynette, becomes leader of the Elite party, gained 5% stability. Or, I'm sorry, 5% legitimacy, gained base stability negative 7%. Change in popularity of Elites, 10%. Uh, the League has something of a point. No. And now let us go forward together. We hold these truths to be self-evident that, that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Um, the elite's party will now be called the League of, of Citizens still. She becomes the leader of it. Gains 7% legitimacy. Change popularity of elites 5%. Um, available because you are charismatic. So it's much better than the two steps forward and one step back. So we will be doing that one. Now let us go forward together. Yeah, so now you have the Citizens League. They were like the whatever they were before. They're still not important. So, <laughs> get out of here. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? <laughs> uh, we can further restore the naval base. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Got 100 days. We can uh, do silver. Silver State. Like, I, I, I'm a, I, I don't know. I can't remember, I guess. Well, I shouldn't say I can't remember. But I think... The way in which your grand forces fight. I, th I think if I, like, switched over to the walking infantry, it gets rid of my special forces perks. I could be wrong. Uh, if you guys would like to let me know, I'd be appreciative of it. 
because I can't remember. We can do this. Uh, remember what we lost. Lessons from the war. Breakthrough, regular old flag. Division recovery rate, 13%. That's actually really good. But we'll do remember what we lost. Enclave heritage, division recovery rate. Follow me. Dia Presso Liber. Death before dismount. Grand Army of the Republic. The Enclave Heritage. Enclave Department of the Army or in Enclave High Com. We'll do that. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. Need reinforcements for our power armor, which is fine. We figured that we would need quite a bit of power armor. We're actually going to start taking you guys off of the body armor. We'll just move that down to the bottom. Got a lot of the recon kits. Need some more support equipment, probably. Scavenger's Triumph. We got locked in schematics. Put more of you guys. How many? Oh, yeah, I don't. Whoops. Yeah, let's cancel all of you. Then how many do I need? Four. There we go. You guys actually have laser rifles, which is perfect. Some basic weaponry, which is, yeah, that's fine. Some of you have laser rifles, some of you don't. Well, it'll be good. Get these guys set up to come and fight with us. Doing Operation Babylon right now. See, I like the old world. Ooh. Power of the old world or strengths of the new world. Naval yards. Reform Grappa. Defense contracting offices. More freedom flies. We can just do, well. So not to worry about it. The Doctrine of Tomorrow. America's Hammer. Sherman Doctrine. MacArthur's Doctrine. Or the Chase Doctrine. Oh yeah, the Anchorage Line. Then Sherman, of course, during the Confederacy. And then MacArthur with his Into the Breach. Assault Tank Tech. Vertebrate combat units and enclave mobile bases and 914 millimeter howitzer technology. Okay. Let's see. Crack the code. Uh, I kind of wouldn't mind doing the accepted ghouls down through this. But at the same time, let's do crack the codes against the NCR. It's secure area 51. Aaron Kimball is elected president in the NCR. Again, same guy. NCR Congress, so they're the Barons. We wanted, who is, I think it's a she. Kimball said all good, Murphy, or Murphy all good, uh, what, who is it, Dreams of the Old World, yeah, it's him, uh, Grant C. Hayes is who we wanted, I think, right, no, I don't remember, maybe I don't right. here. some more power armor units, finally, Area 51, some of our technologies we've uh, heard coming out of our old base at Area 51 or beyond, even the Enclave scientists uh, and surprised what we thought pre-war engineers were capable. All of that technology could be easily put to reuniting the states, but instead they are being used to keep errant wastelanders, hovels, and tents warm at night. The treasure trove of Area 51 is a rightful government property, and we can't have a series of tribal settlers or raiders quanting over it with no idea what they have at their fingertips. Worse, if they actually figure out what they do have, we have uh, proposed an immediate plan to conquer the base. You have to wonder where they got this idea. So I'm just going to justify against the Sons of Kaga. Uh, 
No. Technically, these guys share a border. Be the Silver State. is going on. Stop police forces. More legitimacy for the fault city than one building slot. Nah. 86 territory sent out the manual prospectors. Yeah, but I can't even get to the Sky Reaver, so Troll Warren is beating out the Bone Dancers right now. We done cracked the code. Let's do. Where am I at? Here we go. Bears can't fly. The Baron incident allows you to send spies to stage false flag attacks against the R and send the NCR army in to bring the region back into their control. Get some more air uh, vertebrates. There's silver in them hills. Gold, gold too. Aside Vegas and acting as a bombing range, Nevada was home to the largest silver and gold mines on the West Coast. Surprisingly, the rare precious metals are still considered valuable to the post-war markets, and we're sending on a mother load of the stuff. Not to mention, once word gets out that there's a fortune to be made here in Nevada, people will start flocking to the area, like in the gold rush of ancient times. Of course, if we use people, we kind of have to care for them, and no one will arrive. We can make up for it with robotic workers who work full time with no breaks. However, that will cause tension among the populace, and no one's going to arrive if robots are doing all the work. Uh, we value human miners over the machine. Legacy of Garon, which grants weekly or monthly population plus one percent trade tariffs plus five percent, or bring in auto miners. Victory of Horn, right, which gains weekly stability gain. Oh, yeah, no. Legacy of Garhan. Why would you purposely lose stability every every week? It'd be horrible. Or would it be worth it? So let's rebuild the airstrip, restore the reactors, and I guess we can just go all the way down this. Power production, the Sierra Labs. Main battle tanks, universal tanks. That would be better vehicles, though. So we got Poseidon Energy, got Arc Jet Systems for planes, Lock Reed for planes. Um, we don't have West Tech. Oh, that's infrastructure. We don't have 100 political power anyway, so. 150. <laughs> that one would put us over our limit. Trollman. Got 80 more days on that. So rebuilding the airstrip. The hangars of the depot have been closed for well over 200 years, and we had to cut them with plasma cutters just to gain access. Inside, however, was something none of us were expecting. An entire flight of VB-01 uh, vertebrates and the pre-war models of the Enclave workhorse. 
This was not as well armored as the VB VB dash zero two gunship or having its largest capacity of the VB zero two transports, but the VB zero one is a versatile utility platform that can perform a variety of functions on the battlefield that the other two could find difficulty in accomplishing. Uh, We've even found technical manuals and flight instructions allowing us to train a new generation of Army pilots. Sadly, the VBO ones we found are in a sorry condition, and many seem to have been can uh, cannibalized for parts. Thankfully, technicians are looking them over and assured us that it is possible to reproduce these aircraft using the facilities here at the depot. Begin production immediately. Add technology vertebrate support points. Ooh. Let's restore the reactor. We have a, a better radar station. Adds a bunch of energy as well because we're making two. We have 273. So energy is actually what oil is in the base game. So getting a lot. Let's pause that. Uh, Naval Aviation Warfighter Development Center headquarters at the Naval Air Station Fallen. The Naval Aviation Warfighter Development Center or the NAWDC was the primary air warfare center for the United States Navy. In common popular U.S. parlance, parlance of the area. Of the era, it was known as Top Gun. This is a real treasure of NAS Fallen, which many prospector scavengers and the Yukaza failed to understand, giving none of them even thought they would ever be flying in post war America. Now that NAS Fallen is back in our control, we can open up these old vo vaults and data banks and return the best of the best to the Navy's fighter school and put it towards our own fighters and vertebrates, as well as train as, uh, a new generation of air aces to dominate the skies and the forest that is many wastelander air forces. Fly Eagle Fly, improve air agility in each generation. Venom Vol, or Venom's Veil changes its name to NAS Fallen. Not even a cord piece of our territory yet. State is now a core. Oh, yeah, because we need to build. How expensive are these? They're pretty expensive. Put you there. So if we want to core them, we got to connect them to the grid. So let's do construction. Everywhere that does not have one. Put one. Connect them all to the grid. Probably take a while because they're really expensive. This cost seven thousand two hundred. That cost ten thousand eight hundred. Do the R plane bombers. Saving our political power, a jewel in our crown. Under our government, Sierra Enclave has prospered. We've built towns, roads, communities, and dreams. One of our advisors noticed today while walking through Vault City that it has become a beacon in the wasteland, but still it isn't perfect. Though flawed, the imperfections give character to this jewel on our nation's crown. Spectacular deed, which adds ground jewel, which grants trade income 35%. Perfect. Vault City most definitely makes the most out of our trade. Now Santa Ana is beginning his conquest of Mexico. We'll defeat him at some point. That'll be all right. Texas Economic Union's fighting on. Lanius Cohort has defeated the Hand Dogs with the help of the Iron Alliance. Ah, so Hecate, uh, Hecate, or Hecate, yeah. Hecate has knocked out uh, Diana. Let's restore the reactors, even though we're doing exactly what they said not to do and focus heavy on one. Basic, mm. Let's actually see. Let's do... Bears can't fly. Do the Baron incident. Or writer attacks. Walt City University. Be nice. It it's horrible that you have to like hold all of your power or all of your uh, 
Enclave here. Political power. This is Enclave main com. I really hope that this is considered like a touching territory to it. Frag grenades, yeah. They'll most definitely be using these, the light machine gun. Well, everybody has air, so we better get the anti air guns. This is Enclave Maincom. Enclave Maincom. Sorry, Organization Bot 314. Thorns, loyalists are pretty much gone at this point. So are the leagues, Citizen League, technically. No broadcast. So we can arm the raiders. That gives us a bunch of legitimacy, or negative 3% legitimacy. And locks arm the raider gang's decision. Or we can just get political power and war support. I don't think there's any bandits left around. No, there's not. Maybe, like, the four ways, but... Let's take the hundred political power and the war support. Daily intellectual support. Nah, I don't really need that. Entertainment would be nice, but we'll just hold off on that. The twin mothers did what? Oh, there's the twin mothers. So no, she didn't defeat. Okay. They're attacking Vault 27 now. Let's do the old world radio. Cost times 10, 280. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> be a lot cheaper than what it has been. The fall of the hand dogs in uh, Colorado. Colorado's river runs red with blood. So yeah, Lanius, his cohort has conquered all of Colorado. They will be the hardest thing to fight, 100%, fighting Kaisar's Legion. radio we can do new world hopes or the old world blues I like both of them political power gains pretty good but this consumer goods is really well so we'll do the old world blues how are you doing MacArthur you're at war with nobody we just aren't close enough although we are both enclave See how many more days? Quite a quite a while. Maybe we can jump in and attack the Sky Reavers. The only problem is it does open up a border against Kazar's Legion. Troll Warrens taking all their states. Kazar Legion knocked out Lagranus. Even the Troll Warren has planes. Combat blimps. Don't have much manpower though. Enclave here. Enclave here. Oh, all those troops are green. Enclave here. Everybody start training. Everybody start training. That's here. Do the old world propaganda. Old world blues. Our scavenger failed to find something. Good job. Scavenger vehicles. It's fine. And what 
spots and sponsor a railway, which just gives building spots to the uh, Sierra Army Depot, Fault City University. I met 300,000. That's quite a bit. And then the install. Installs police in every uncord without a power grid. Some states will have more buildings than what the Sierra Enclave currently can, requiring removal of said building manually. Let's do Fault City University. Twin Mothers took Vault 27. Let's see. What's up, Farther? There it is. Montana chapter declared war on the cult of liberty. What is that done? I don't think we're ready just yet. Let's do the new base of operations. This is Enclave Maincom. Get a full stack of 20. Let you all start training. What's cool about the Major General is I don't think he has a limit to what he can do. Uh, the bad thing is, he is a Major General. Enclave Main Com. Why does it say he's not a field marshal? Kaisar's Titans. Oh, man. Uh, it is. In what has been described as a gift from Mars, Legion recently deployed some uh, what some have considered as super mutant behemoths in a show of force along with Colorado. Hulkin mutated monstrosity straight out of a, two, a 2162 nightmare. Eyewitness reports have them throwing chunks of debris, derelict cars, and even dead bodies across the river in displays of terror that is resonating up the Californian coast and in the Sierra Nevada. Analysts have questioned where Kaiser acquired these perversions of science, with some speculating that the ag uh, ag ag Enigmatic Aqualian Palatine has formed an alliance with a group at stakes, claimed to the former Los Alamos Research Laboratory, regardless of represents a dangerous development of those who oppose the legions. Titans? Really? Let's see, we'll give you a pain train. Not considered a. No. I thought you were considered a field marshal. Enclave here. Enclave here. It's not what I wanted. to promote. I need 255 more CP. Seriously? Oh, so he probably got demoted. The unit promotion cost is super expensive. So we can promote you to being the unit leader or the general and put him in charge of the power armor. Oh, he got demoted. That's right, during the trials he got demoted. So yeah, we need an actual general, so we'll promote him up. And then, I'm thinking instead I actually might put somebody else. Let's see, you're not, you're not great. So commanding here. officer being him. Here. And then you can get even though the uh, recently demoted experience gain all stats. Mm, let's do let's do Churchill. Jack Churchill Shadow Churchill. There we go. I didn't realize he got demoted, Enclave but Maine. now General James Song is promoted and is doing much better. So, Rika declared war on Arroyo. Arroyo. Order of St. Joseph declared war on the fringe. Let's 
let's see, 340, spend that, NCR radio, change in popularity of intellectuals, oh, that hurt, that makes us change to elite, so, find ready power grid, moves camera, uh, power all, sponsor over railway, oh, do we already construct that? Yeah, we're building them quite quick, ain't we? Connect to grid. Sweet, so we did core it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we can just... I see how that works. Okay. More available civilian factory than five. Does that mean we're not building anything? I'm not sure. We're at 93% legitimacy, though. A uh, new base operations. Let's do the power armor production. Research purity or principle? Oh, no, principle. Yes, I know we can fight this, guys, once we're able to cut through right here. Let's see. Install police forces now. We won't do that. Sponsor a railway. The Nuka Cola core is kind of making me confused, but not the first time I've been confused about something here. Uh, flamers or a grenade launcher? I think grenades. Makes more sense to me, personally. Get better dogs. Production-wise, building a lot of power armor, a lot of common weaponry. Uh, well, actually, might take you guys off because I do want to start building that. And what's that? Just research. Esmeralda falls silent. Who's Esmeralda? Streamline power armor. Restore the laboratories. Do that. Are we finally done with the Enclave brain drain? No, until 2081. So yeah, we still got a while. Oh, the Cult of Liberty was knocked out. But the Montana chapter is now fighting MacArthur. Go MacArthur. Go MacArthur. Oh. Scavengers Triumph, we get the Watch Consumer Energy Schematic. Perfect. Alright, the Den. So now the Den should be cored. Yeah, you lose negative two energy, but like, uh, that's fine. I think every territory. Yeah, every territory that has it is losing two energy, but we have such an excess of energy right now. 466, yeah. We can core the entire, probably the entire map and still have enough. Just construction-wise, we need to build a lot of those. Have we finally been able to go and fight these guys? No. Four more days. I do want to pause real quick, edit. We'll throw on an extra infantry group. We're going to give you guys uh, anti-tank. We'll give you guys the infantry regiments. Or actually, wait. U.S. Army Ranger? No. Yeah, infantry regiments. And then for you guys, we'll give you guys... I don't know what you all would be considered. I think armor, personally. Maybe the rangers. Is there room to be rangers? We'll also give you guys... Uh, I think maintenance might be good. The vertebrae support wings. Attack, movement. Yeah. 
give you guys uh, anti-tank as well. What's that missing? Oh yeah. Finally got that done. And let's see. We can start dialing back production there. Keep production high here. Start getting those vertebrates built. I can totally forgot that they were training when I started the war. That's a big mistake, but it'd be all right. Let's do breakthrough. These guys build up their uh, organization. But these veterans are at least trained to They're all regular, the rest of you are trained. Uh, Butcher Pete's request, no. The Sons of Kaga demand territory. The Sons of Kaga have the audacity to demand the territory. How should we proceed? Should we crush their miserable ambitions at once or delay by giving in for enough time to annihilate them utterly? We need to take a decision at once before they take our silence for the sign of disrespect and decide to retaliate on their terms. We cannot allow them. We will deal with this. Well, I gotta scroll to the top. We need to finish this war yesterday. Actually. Oh, Reopening the Sierra Laboratory. Our reconstruction and expansion of the Sierra Army Depot research facilities have made them the envy of any wasteland lab and rivaling our facilities on the rig. Our scientists can now work in a clean, safe, and secure environment with some of the most advanced systems in the known world. The question of what to do with them remains an issue. Some say we should open a new research and development department with our expanded capacity. Uh, Capabilities, or they're saying we should be used in assisting projects already going on. One research slot, or we get research seed plus 3%. Let's get that extra research slot. And then we'll do Fertress Sierra, which isn't like crazy important, but it does finish out our focuses for this. And we can do that. These guys need to aim towards the south. We got a bunch of transports. Not a whole lot of gunships though. Days left. Yeah, I'm not giving you anything, so. Enclave here. Enclave here. Enclave here. haven't chose to go to war with me yet. Let's see if they even will. This episode might be a little bit longer than I like to have in that, but... Enclave here. She 
United States because of right here. Because Looks like they're not going to try to attack me. Now. There's Fortress Sierra. Uh, start doing the uh, Baron incident. I think they really. Oh, they, they've justified one. That's fine. I'm going to justify my own against them. Send out some vehicles. Let's see. Right now, we're just straight constructing these power grids. We still have this war goal against the Sky Reavers. They attacked me. I do want to get you guys heavy special forces. Do awareness. Warhounds. Let's do inspirational. So they were, they were waiting on me. I immediately went on the defensive. I think it already canceled it, so. There's the Baron incident. The Lucia. Lucia. It's the Baron incident. <laughs> so we can have the NCR declare war on the Shi. back against the uh, sons of Kaga. Kaga? Kaga? Excellent! Something. Just frag grenades. Research. Or not research, reconnaissance. Research. Doris, connect to the grid. Tighten up. 
Our special forces over there, that'd be all right. Oh, wait, I need some vertebrates, yeah. We're good on about everything else, though, so. Gun runners. Save some of that. Van Graaff, still see some of those laser muskets. Defenses. Bears can't fly, so their planes are trash. Enclave here. Updated production. Oh yeah. Let's also get some uh, grenades being built. All right, we're done with all of that. Push. Let's give you let's see flexible. Let's give you pain trains. Do savage leader. Furious, uh, ferociously loyal. An improvement expert, huh? Mm. I like him even more. Lanius goes west. Ah, Kaiser has found his, found his hammer against the west. One of Kaiser's most highly respected and feared military commanders and arrival of the legate and his eastern cohort signifies a new level of intense, uh, intensity in the legion's camp of the Mojave and beyond. So they have rejoined. And now he sits at anywhere between 92 and 270 units. Good luck, NCR. Yeah, once we knock out, or knock out the Sky Reavers, I'll end the episode. I guess the NCR did not go to war. Oh yeah, historical firearms. Let's get that research. Economic resurgence. Well, it's not a fruit basket. We've heard rumors of an enclave department up in Wyoming and Montana waste for some time. To ever, or today, however, it was quite a shock when several vertebrates appeared over Fort Sierra and landed uh, out stuffing a ragtag band of enclave soldiers, each looking worse for wear. Among them was Colonel Ellen Santiago, along with her daughter and survivors from Mac MacArthur Air Force Base. Grant himself was quite shocked when he invited her and her top commanders to one of his infamous uh, roasted death claw dinners. After talking through the evening, Santiago and her survivors were happy to join up with the West Coast remnants in Nevada, but few men she had left could easily be aligned into the Army, and Granite noted her experience both in combat and politics would be a, of huge use as a Sierra Enclave navigator the new world they found themselves in. Welcome, oh, well, welcome to Nevada. Uh, we get Daniel Carter, Martha Santiago, and Ellen Santiago. Economic resurgence. Ah, so the Montana chapter did beat them. Okay. Enclave here. So we got the remnants. This is Enclave main com. Remnants remains. We'll start our new unit here. Congratulations, and we can put them under. Daniel Card. Let's see what else we got. Further restore Creech Air Force Base. 
for the restore Hawthorne Army Depot and Tona Tonopah Air Force Base. TV Town. Hidden Metropolis. Start doing that. Bears can't fly. That is scientifically a fact. They cannot fly. Uh, reorganizing sympathizers. We're, we're almost hopefully going to be done soon. These guys, I hate when they go to the last stand for like six, seven times in a row and you're just sitting there like, you tear through them right afterwards. But ooh, it's just that few minutes of just having to wait. It's always the worst. New, thro uh, new threat out of Tucson. Word from the Southern Arizona speaks of a new type of chariot being driven by the riders, or yeah, the riders of Tucson. While well, eyewitness testimony is sketchy, it appears that Tucson has been working to equip their chariots with an array of anti tank weaponry, possibly as a means to defeat power armor or the rapidly mechanizing forces out west. And analysts have concluded this must be the work of the Aquan Palantine, working alongside the Cult of Nas in Tucson to bring their war chariots into a threat far more deadly than they once were. In fact, the Legion itself has been seen making use of the chariots and word is large swaths of legion forces are training in open desert on how to use them and their new weapons. Da, 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 Seriously? <laughs> Scavengers Triumph, we get Old World Spy Book, which helps us with our spies. TV Town's about done. Let's do 520 political power. What? Hidden Metropolis stories from Cavaneers. Uh, caravaneers and records from the followers tell of a strange hidden settlement deep in the Nevada desert. A strange idyllic, uh, idyllic town population by cheerful and upbeat citizens who seem oblivious to the world around them. While the reports say the outwardly appearing friendly, they have been the death of at least two caravan expeditions and are capable of ripping arms right off a person. The followers record state they have made contact with them but kept at a safe, uh, but kept at a far distance due to their vastly superior technology. While normally a perfect town in the wasteland is always a cause for concern, a city with superior technology to ours cannot be allowed no sir send out an expedition a heavily armed one well it's not a west world this is enclave main com now hopefully take area 51 here in a second after been bloodily slamming into him this whole time now we got to get down to the north passage we will start gearing up a bunch of our auxiliaries about 15 of them. Construction wise, gonna need a lot of more factories here soon. Well, we've been kind of needing them already, but and then uh, civilian power grids. Let's get all this territory set up with some power power grids. Restoring these different bases here. And hopefully here soon we can finally be over with this fight for Area 51. Organize the sympathizers. Army Patriot tutorial. We have gained the ability to organize patriots to do so. Click on the NCR state and press the organize patriots button from the state menu. States that have armed patriots will flip to our side and spawn militia units when we decide to start the Californian uprising. Army, patrol, uh, Army patriots cost more than political power each time it's used. Americans will always fight for freedom. So we can click. Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, here in reading, we can organize. And then it starts costing 25. Let's do the boneyard. Alright, then we're not going to use any more. I need to find somewhere that offers me political power. You don't. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if there's anywhere else that has political power. But I doubt it because I've used most of it. So it looks like the war might be coming here pretty soon. Let's do the fear and uncertainty. Is what? How much? 
Do I need 550? Uh, maybe we might be able to. But I think if we take this, then it's uh, an assured no. So, and they've last standed again. Two sons went to war. Well, it's not. Well, pause. Yeah. Well, it's not Westworld. As our expedition closed in on the town, they were beset by a horrifying sight. Whoever came here before us left the place in ruins and bodies littered the streets. The eerie quiet was broken when our troops were beset upon by horrifying abominations. Heavily damaged humanoid automata acting as if they were from a pre-war town. They, however, appeared to be malfunctioning as they began shooting lasers from their eyes after claiming our troops looked cold. Thankfully, power armor is highly resistant to lasers and we returned fire in kind. However, the reason for the mass of bodies became aware as more of the monsters came out of the literal woodworks and we were forced to fall back. There must be hundreds of the things, and they're all malfunctioning. We need to act fast. Uh, another pre-war horror. Excellent. Oh, bah humbug. Go back. Go back, power armor. Enclave here. Our infantry should be enough to handle all this. Yeah, now we should finally break them down here. Again, this this video is going to be long, and I do apologize, but well, I say I apologize, but I like playing the game, so I don't really apologize. This is on Cleve Main Com. <laughs> Alright, finally. Sky Reavers are gone. Confirm. Confirm. Enclave here. Take you guys. Uh, this is probably the biggest swath of land right there. Put all you all here. Enclave here. You're taking TV town out. Here. Want my power armor right here, so we can knock out Sac City. Uh, here. Put my robots up here against their power armor. Here. Then I need you guys here and some forces there. Take you from here to Bridgeport. Sounds good to me. Hopefully they come out in time, or are trained in time. Secret Service armor, no. Do simple circuitry. First Citizen, she, well, yeah, that's Elite, Jessica Rhodes, and House Speaker. Well, that's fine. Well, we got 31 days, so and we'll never have enough political power. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start uh, in the next episode doing other things. And let's see. We'll hook up to the power grid. For 30 days. The Lucia incident we should probably do. So we'll do that. So Lost Hill declares war on them in 30 days. But alright, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.